Thank you for uh, helping with manual focus. All right, welcome to day four of the 30 day 30 tutorial challenge. Yesterday we got to play with Google Earth to drone transitions. It was my first time playing with Google Earth and man, what a really powerful tool. I'm curious to see if Google Earth can replace drones in certain circumstances. Now, let's play a little game. I have eight clips selected, and it's your job to decide if they are a Google Earth shot or a drone shot. I'm gonna play these eight clips in a row, mark your answers, and then I'll give you the solutions afterwards. All right, feeling confident? Let's see how you guys did, and let's see how Mariah's gonna do. All right, are you ready for the biggest quiz of your life? Google Earth or drone? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Drone. Mm, oh, Google, Google. Yeah, that was Google. Mm, yeah, God, Google? Google. Drone. Google. That's so drone. Alright, seven out of eight. I guess the Google Earth shots weren't that great. However, I feel like there are quite a few things that I could have done and also you guys could do to make your Google Earth shots a lot more realistic. I had very limited time, so I just jumbled a bunch of things together. But if I had more time, here's what I would have done. Number one, I would have color corrected better. I would have added vignette. I would have added some black bars to make it a little bit more cinematic. I would also include some shallow depth of the field. Put a little blur on the bottom and the top. Other things I could do is more overlays. Mariah actually didn't notice the little birds I had flying. If she did, she might have thought the Google Earth shot was a drone shot. I'll include the overlays in the description below, but feel free to also use sky replacements or other overlays such as clouds. At the end of the day, Google Earth does have its limitations. Anything with water or anything with traffic is going to look a little bit weird because everything's still. Another thing is that if you're going straight, Google Earth can be a little bit patchy as it decides to show more and more details. Overall, Google Earth is a really fun tool to play with. I hope this video got your creative juices flowing and inspires you to go out and play with Google Earth. And let me know how you guys did on that quiz. I think Mariah had a little bit of an unfair advantage since I think she saw me editing. Anyways, let me know how you guys did and I'll see you tomorrow with another tutorial.